Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm excited you're here today because I have a fun crafty share and some Etsy shares of things that I have purchased recently that you might be interested in seeing, as well as some things that I've been making. So I thought I would share those with you today. Okay, well, how is everybody? I hope you're all good. So let's get rocking and rolling. Let's see what I've got for you. All right, so I'm going to pull aside the things that are um, not crafty. And I wanted to share with you, I finished, these were made out of the um, 4x9 envelopes. And, you know, we have like tag in there and a tag here and a tag here. And then we have the front and then the back is just, you know, so I want you to see them all done. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can tell, but it's a very soft pink. Okay. And then I finished this one. I don't think I finished any of these on video. So we have a card here. We have the background there. And then we have a tag here. And we have a tag here. And that's got one of my little acrylic doodads there. And then we've got a tag there. And all these tags are backed, so they have some good, you know, heft to them. And I wanted to share with you what I had completed. I don't think you saw them before. So there you have it. There they are, all done. Aren't they pretty? I just love them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, this is the finished project I was doing for Lorna at Taylor Made Journals and, um, you know, uh, uh, Creative Expressions. Uh, made from her beautiful papers and her um, so I created a little pocket here I think this might need a little something I'm not sure what yet and then we have a tag there and one there you know I could decorate that up if I wanted and then we have it's all decorated here and I have added some stickles and I added stickles to the tree and some vintage stars. I've added some half pearls. And I want to apologize for my video. I had a terrible time. The quality was awful. I don't know what happened to my camera. It just had a fit. We've been having terrible problems with our internet lately. So I think that's, it just, I don't know what happened. I think when it was downloading, we had issues is really where it was. But it quit on us. So this is what I've turned the pages into some tags. I can add more goodies if I want. But I wanted to show you what I ended up creating. And then this was a little pocket. And I've added some stars to it. Some stickles. Some vintage rickrack. Which, let's see. I added, I added vintage rickrack to that one. And vintage lace there. Same here. Vintage lace, rickrack. Some blingy. Open it up. Some more of the rickrack. We have a tag here and a tag here. Now these can be decorated. And I will probably do them in a future video. But I also have the Merry and Bright. So that's what we have here. I just wanted to show you, you know, what I've been doing with it. And let's see, you saw that one. You saw that. It's all stickled up. Oh, and that one was stickled as well. Can you see? Yeah. So anyway, I thought I would show you how far I got with those. No, the tags aren't decorated. We could probably do those in another a Merry Monday video and make some more things, you know. And I did spend additional time stamping more words so I would have, you know, I pretty much stamped the whole envelope full of words, not the originals. And guess what? My red ink came in. So let's see, did I have any new words I didn't show you? Oh, Merry and Bright. That was one of them. Joy to the World. What did I do? I know I had a whole bunch more new ones. Well, my goodness. Okay, maybe it was just those. And it was just more of the Merry Christmas and those kinds of things. So I'm planning to, what I want to do is I want to do sheets and I want to stamp all the words in all the colors that I want to use. That way I have them for all of my Christmas season. So you'll be seeing Lorna stamps, which you should be able to buy throughout the season. Yes, it's a bit early right now, but it'll do fine. Okay. So that's what I've been making. Not a lot, as you know. So I got my order in from Lavish Laces. I had another. I put a second one in. And she's good if you want to get some vintage laces or packages. Oh, this is pretty. She must have looked at my page and saw I'm a pink girl. So I will definitely wind that on one of my pink cards. I'm sure I have one I could add that to. 
All right. And then we have just great stickers. I love her stickers. They're so pretty. And pink tissue. Oh, there we go. So I always get a grab bag. Uh, I got the vintage ribbon grab bag. Ooh, that's pretty. And then I got, um, yeah, that was a vintage ribbon one. You know, the ribbons. And then I got the vintage lace grab bag, which is always fabulous. You always get the most beautiful things in there. Look at that. Oh, look. Beautiful, right? Oh my goodness. I love these really, these are needle lace, some of these. And my goodness. Oh, ooh, look at the gold. You know, I'm a fan of gold. Yay, I love the gold trims. And then, oh, yes, 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 yes. These are all my favorites. All of these are all things I love, love, love to use. And I really think this one is really worth the dollars. So, um, yay. And... Yeah, that's really old. It's been on something else. You can tell it's been pulled off of something and say probably a garment. And that's okay because I will use it all. So then the vintage ribbon bag. Ooh, look at those. Oh, yum. Those are pretty. It says mainly satin and velvet. And yeah, you've got all kinds in there. We've got all kinds of, I'm gonna have to separate these out. I gotta start a little box for these because I don't think I have a box for my, for vintage ribbons. Oh, and inside of each of these ribbons, look at, there's more tucked in. Look at that, look at all the things tucked in there. Oh my goodness. And then this one, oh, I will use that. That's a good fall for fall. These, ooh, wouldn't that be gorgeous with some fall? I saw that Lorna has an, a fall line out as well. And um, the fall papers, that was gorgeous with her fall papers. So, yeah. I don't want to ruin these ribbons, but trying to put them back in the way they came out is not going to happen. Then um, I, I added some, I asked for some pink. And look at these delicate pink vintage ribbons. Yum. Because I've used up almost all my pink. And more blue. Yay. I'm doing a lot of blue. So, oh yeah, that'll go there. So, I want a pink and blue. And then this is a little thank you bag for me. Enjoy these extras. So, we've got a pretty applique. We've got some more pink and purple. I mean, not more pink. More blue, purple, and cream and a yellow. I don't use yellow often, but every now and then, you know, I look for something and I need it. Oh, in spring. Yes, in spring at Easter, I do use yellow at Easter. So anyway, I wanted to share my lavish laces um, shipment that I ordered. I ordered these and then, um, so go on over and check out our shop. I'm gonna move those over to my lace box. I'm going to have to do some work on that for sure. Then I got my order in from Celeste. Haha, <laughs> I love Miss Celeste. Hi, sweetie. She is Woodland Inspired. So if you're looking for a name, here, here's the name on this card. Woodland, oh, oh, come on now. Woodland Inspired on Etsy, right here. Don't, don't pay attention to that unless you're looking for, you know, the lace wraps. Okay. But I wanted you to see the name because I know someone said they didn't know how to spell it. So that's the reason I take the time to show you the card so you can see. I don't know if she had put any in here. Sometimes she does. But this is an order I put in for Mary Monday. But she has been so swamped that... I didn't really get it when I needed it, darn it. It's not her fault though. She just got slammed. And she ran out of paper, had to go actually out to get some to fill my order. <laughs> so what are you gonna do, right? I will use this tag again, you know, I'll just cover it up and use it because I don't like to waste tags. I don't really need any more white tissue, so I am gonna throw that away. All right, mm, let's see, what was this one? Oh, I love this string, Celeste, it's one of my favorites. Go girl, she knew I liked this paper. I told her how much I enjoyed this paper. I thought it was beautiful, so she put it on the outside of my order. Oh, I'll have to get that tissue off there. 
so yummy. Okay, so I ordered her mini file folders. Mini file folder. Mystery Christmas. Oh, they are adorable. I gotta show you. Mmm, I love the embossed paper that you put it on too, Celeste. I love that she has this little um, doohickey there. I'll be using that. And see, when you fold them up, this is what you get. Oh, these are adorable, Celeste. I love them. I wanted to stick them in little pockets, which is why I wanted these for my Christmas journals. So, gosh, I wasn't going to do Christmas this year, but I guess I am because I keep getting all these great, fabulous things. And, oh, look at all the designs. Yum. We've got fall and winter and Christmas. So pretty much everything that I would consider using. So there you go. Those are adorable. Love them. Yeah, I want to keep that together so I know what they are. I'll put them in my Christmas bucket to work with. Whoopsie. And I'll keep that with it. So if you guys ask me what it is and you want to go over and order, these are custom orders. So you just tell her what you want. She makes them when you order them. I know she had a big stash, but she got wiped out. So, oh, I love that. I will use that. Absolutely use it. Sometimes, you know, I do neutral things. Or I put a lady on it or, you know, something like that. Now, these are the Christmas pockets. So, let's see what we have here. Ooh. That double-sided tape is a booger, isn't it? Okay. And here we go. So these are Christmas pockets, tags, and labels. Yummy. Okay. So this is what you get. Oh, she is the queen, I swear. So you end up with this little pocket and you have a little tag in it. Aren't these lovely? Oh my gosh, they are beautiful. So they match the others, which is awesome because if you wanna have a match set, and this must be the labels, I'm assuming in this tiny little adorable envelope. I think these are adorable, they're so cute. I know I can get these out of here maybe there we go yep look at all these little blank white ones and then we have matching little labels that look like this that can go on there or go on the bottom of your little envelopes adorable good job honey celeste is such a sweetheart i adore her we met through etsy but you know we've become quite fond of each other so there we go i'm gonna put that back in there and I'm going to put that with it because I do not want to lose that. That way, if I want another order of them at Christmas, because I could see these on my ephemera. I love making ephemera, so we got to get down to making some Christmas ephemera. Back to our Christmas ephemera. Okay. What did I order here? I don't remember, honestly. Oh, picture wheels, die cuts. These are adorable. I remember, I still have my slide set like this. Um, so let's see. There's the card. I'm so glad she puts those in there. I, You know what? I need to put these, make a little thing and put a sample with it so I can order when I want to order. Oh, look at these. <gasps> Oh, I love these, Celeste. These are adorable. This will look great with all my stuff. Aren't these adorable? And then you put them with a paper behind them. Um, like, okay, see, like this. So you have that paper behind it, or you have that, you know, if you put something behind it, you can really see the pattern. Words would be lovely behind that, or even some kind of a picture. So that is fabulous. Go, girl. Oh, I left one in there. There we go. Celeste does such a good job with all of this. The packaging, the stuff like that, so you know what you're getting. And then you get this fabulous embossed paper you can use. 
which I collect it, <laughs> but I really should start using it. I forget it's there, you know. Well, I'll put that in after. I don't really want to struggle on camera here, but I love all this paper, Celeste. This is just beautiful. And then one more that I ordered. I put a pretty good order in, which kept her quite busy. Along with she's picking garlic and onions right now on her on her farm. So she's been pretty, pretty busy. Oh, I love these. Yes, I ordered all of the little envelopes. Aren't they adorable? Miniature envelopes, Christmas themed. Some of the same papers. Let's see, you get 24 envelopes and 24 cards. So they must have little cards inside them. So now I got to open them. I love it. She says, open here. Brilliant girl. Let me see. What does this look like? So, oh yeah, you get a cute little darling little card inside that you can put a word on or ink it or whatever you want to do. Oh, I love these, Les. They are going to be so good with my stuff. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. All righty. So, awesome. And now I have a pile of these. I'm going to have to put them in a little jar or something so I don't lose them. But I can use them. Let me put these. Where can I put these? Mm. Well, I'll just leave them here. It's all right. They're all very pretty. And then, oh, there's another one. She also said just because. She sent me goodies. Oh, you always treat me so well, my friend. Thank you so much. But she knows I use her stuff. I use all these little goodies that she sends me. I don't just hoard them. I actually use them. She's been seeing me use them, and so have you. Sorry, I have the hiccups. Lunch and I are not going to... Oh, look at these. I love these. Okay, so these are her vintage labels. This is the blush cardstock she knows I love. Yes, she's been seeing me use a lot of labels, so I can stamp these, which I just did a ton of stamping today, so I could see some of these stamped on there. Oh, yes, that would be fabulous, or even just glued onto that. And then what did she give me here? Oh, what is this, my friend? Beautiful. Oh, my gosh, what did you send me? I love this. I need to make some things and send her some stuff. Oh, I love the tags. Thank you, thank you. This tags for the pockets if you wanted to change out the white tags. Sweet. Oh, look at that. I love that. That's going to be great in my fall journal. The background paper is fabulous. Let me see what I've got here. I've got my order. I see that in there, honey. And then a lovely note from her. Let me just take a quick read off camera. Let me see what she says. If there's anything I should share with you. Let me take a look. Let's see. Is there Hmm. Oh gosh, they had an F2 tornado the size of three football fields touched down thir for 30 minutes. They were in the basement. They were safe. Yay, I'm so glad you're okay, my friend. Thank you for such a beautiful little letter. I totally appreciate you. Um, so, my dear friend. And she's great because she leaves the envelope so I could use it again. <laughs> you are fabulous, my dear. Just fabulous. I keep all my little notes. You know, I started a book like Gail has, and I've got to find my book so I can put all my little thank you notes from all my vendors. Oh, forgot to put that in. What a beautiful gift. Thank you so much. Okay. And I think there was still, oh, one more thing. One more thing. I found something else. Oh, look at those. These are cathedral windows, you guys. <gasps> These will be beautiful in my, you know, I've been working with the Rococo and all those others, Edwardian and all that. Can't you just, oh, look at the colors she did them in. You guys are going to want some of these if you're doing any of those 
Look at that. Oh, they are beautiful, Celeste. Wow, and I love that bell, that Christmas bell. These are gorgeous. It'd be great with Christmas, too. It's not just, but you know, I always thinking about my daily work as well as the holidays. And, oh, I got film strip die cuts mystery pack, set of six. Ooh, these are nice. Let me see. Oh, how fun can you get? Aren't these fabulous? Look at these. These are great. Can you imagine? We can put some of those Tim Holtz die cuts or really any of my ladies behind them. My Marie Antoinette's. Oh, I love these. Thank you. Brilliant idea. Brilliant, brilliant. And I bet you, hold on, this back stuck to the front. No, 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 no. Um, let me get these back in here. Anyway, she stuck a packet in here. There we go. <gasps> These are the middles that come out, but you can use them all. You know how much I like this kind of stuff, little itsy bitsy things. Actually, it goes along with a project I'm doing right now. I'll have to make sure I mention her when I um, use them because I actually am working on a fun little strips. Oh, come on. I know you'll go back in there, really. Okay, I'll do this when I'm not on camera. Lovely packaging, Celeste. I just love the way you do all this. Because you know what? There's nothing wasted. Every bit will get used. You know that. Every bit. And I'll deal with that later, too. Alrighty. So these were the film strips. So you got to get those. Those are fabulous. The cathedral windows. Oh, my gosh. Stunning. What more could you ask for? Look at all these goodies, you guys. She has all this stuff in her shop. So you're going to want to go over and do a little shopping yourself, especially if you're getting ready to stock up for your Christmas. If you are making cards or scrapbooks, scrapbook pages, or you're doing um, journals or ephemera, or you're doing the, the Christmas book that everybody does. What is it? The daily one. Um, I can't think of the name of that. I did it where you do a page every day. So, you know, if you're going to do any of that, you might want to get over to Celeste Shop and get your stuff early so you have it. Because the closer she gets to the holidays, the harder it'll be for her to get a hold of papers and things. So, and I think she has all these uh, same kind of things in non-Christmas papers too. Probably if you didn't want... If you wanted the envelope and regular papers, I guess you could ask you to see if she has them. Same with the little mini file folders or these. I believe I've seen them in regular prints, you know. So, all right, you guys. Thank you for stopping by and having a little share with me. I thought it'd be fun to just do that. I don't know um, what I'm going to come back with next. I'm going to take a little downtime to create some things for the shop. So, I'm super busy. I'm working on right now our... Um, our I'm working on glue mats, three different three different um, images uh, for a set of three of these glue mats, and um, this is the smaller of the two, but there's a little bit bigger mat too. So there'll be three different mats that you can choose from, and I'm working on those right now for the shop, as well as a bunch of other fun ephemera to put in the shop. So you can go buy some ephemera if you haven't been able to get a hold of a journal or one of my bigger pieces. You'll be able to go get some smaller things. Um, so that, you know, it'll fit your budget and, you know, you don't have to worry about trying to get a hold of one of those big journals, so, or big folios or whatever I'm working on, so. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all very soon, you guys. I love you. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.